Never before have all 71 models in the history of the MV Augusta Motorcycle Company been at the same place at the same time, all for sale to one lucky buyer as one lot. But you know what? Mecham Auctions is going to make that happen this August at Monterey. The MV Augusta collection brings to us not only a fine motorcycle collection and a treasure of motorcycles, it brings to us something that's unprecedented in the, in the business world, uh, a way to market something. Uh, we're used to selling one item at a time, sometimes thousands of items in a day, sometimes hundreds of items in a day. But this is a situation where we're going to sell 71 motorcycles, an entire collection, as one lot. Going back to 1953 when the, you know, everybody's recovering from World War, so all of a sudden there were cars and bikes that were actually built purely for racing. So the documentation of some of these early racing machines uh, is, is very difficult to track. It's, I think, the only complete motorcycle collection of a mark in the world today. I don't think this collection can be duplicated. Um, I, I know that in this collection there are one-off bikes that don't exist anywhere else, and I was lucky enough to find them. For me to put this collection in a barn or my garage, or even share it with museums, which I do, and I think by selling the collection as a collection, and it will be shared by the next caretaker. And I think that's what it should be. So I send him, I don't know, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 for uh, a Disco Volante a little race bike. And my friend in Belgium, who went with me, John Klump, he said, you send him the money already? He said, yeah. You think you're gonna get the bike from him? I said, yeah. So we're driving all the way to Sicily, the far west end of Sicily, and we get to the address that Salvatore gave me, and it was an empty house with a dead cat in the doorway. And John just turned to me and said, how many times have you been screwed doing business this way? I said, never, and I won't be today. I know he owns a tire store in town. So, of course, we drove into town. We found the tire store. And I said, the, the best defense is a good offense. So I walked in and just yelled out, Salvatore! And over the balcony, he looks down, Gary Americano, see, see, big hug. And I said, oh, Salvatore, wait a minute. What happened? The, the, the address is a casa, dead cat, kaput, huh? Gary, Gary, you are in Sicily. We give nobody the correct address. They come and steal it. So <laughs> I, got, I got the bike.